Doc Upson for Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. Today is April the 4th, and we have more free picks for you. Yesterday's free picks, not so hot. Uh, across the board, had a losing day. Two and four, I believe, is what it was. Still uh, winning, though, overall 124, 102 in the most recent free picks. But on our VPID picks from yours truly yesterday, look it up. Six and oh. That's right. All six. Six winners. No losers. That's 29 and 35, uh, 29 and 6 out of my last 35 picks, 82 plus percent. Just on an absolute tear at the moment. You can get all of my selections plus uh, uh, picks from, or I should say, plus Super Systems, which were 3 and 0 yesterday. Uh, Wise Guy Consensus picks, those are 14 and 8 of late. Uh, you can get uh, uh, select hot Wise Guys picks right now, uh, different guys. You can get those. You can get all that. $39.99 a month. Are you kidding? Come on, get with the program here. Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. You can go sign up right now, $39.99 a month. And if you're not sure, even though with me on a 29 and 6 run, I don't know what there is to be doubting about, but you can sign up seven days for seven bucks. Your choice. Have at it. VegasProInsidersDaily.com. Become a member today. Okay, let's get to some free picks. I got four for you today. A variety of sports starting. Uh, and we don't have a lot of choices, by the way, today because there's so much afternoon baseball action. And in the NBA, even though there's other line moves, they're primarily predicated upon injuries as of that or, or guys that are sitting out tonight. So we got four of them tonight. Uh, today, none of them are, uh, I'm not going to lie to you, they're not easy, not simple, but we got them. Memphis, New Orleans. It's going to be one of the games and the lone one in the NBA. Now, New Orleans um, has five games remaining. And right now, uh, they could finish in the Western Conference anywhere from fourth to out of the playoffs. That's how tightly bunched all these teams are. Now, the Pelicans have lost four in a row, uh, so they haven't helped their own calls whatsoever. But they're 12 or 12 and a half point favorites against Memphis, and they should certainly get the job done, at least in terms of the win column. Where the betting action is, though, is on the total. That has fallen from 216 and a half down to 214 and a half. Um, not an easy call, as I just had mentioned, just overall, uh, New Orleans is 9-0 and over uh, when playing against a winning team at home uh, in the second half of the season, and Memphis is 14-3 and under when the total is 210 to 219 and a half. So what's going to be the right side? You know, I think the, I think the odds makers original number is not bad, and I don't think the adjustments is bad. Uh, but from the standpoint of the lower number, I'm going to go over on this one just to, just by a little bit. Uh, I, you know, 216, if the score ends up at 216, I would not be surprised. Uh, oh, but I'll take the over. 81% of betters are also in agreement. Now let's go to some baseball, shall we? we got the Chicago White Sox at the Toronto Blue Jays once again. Now, uh, in this one, we got... Uh, Aaron Sanchez, really solid pitcher for the Blue Jays. We know pretty much what to expect from him. Carson Fulmer of the Chicago White Sox, not so much. Okay, had a horrible spring until his last start. Pitched pretty well last September, so he he, he did a, a good job on a call up basis. The total here, though, is interesting. It's it, it's at nine. It hasn't budged off of nine, but the difference is it opened at nine uh, with the juice at minus one fifteen. As we got to the middle of the afternoon Eastern time, or cl uh, uh, closing in on uh, uh, noon uh, here out, out west, the it has flipped to over. So the juice now is on the over, and that's anywhere from minus 125 to minus 130 on the over on the nine. So obviously, or at least my perception of this, is the odds makers really don't want to come off the nine. Now, you know, there hasn't been a tremendous amount of one-sided action, even though by uh, by volume of bets there has been. But there hasn't been enough to really get them to come off to the nine and go up to nine and a half. Now, Toronto has really been swinging the bats lately in this four-game winning streak, averaging seven runs per game. But you know what? I like the under here. And part of the reason that I do is the Blue Jays are 14-3 and three under after they have won four or more consecutive games lately. So I'll, I'll slide with the under. 95% of tickets, though, are on uh, the over on this one. Also, we got a, uh, another game for, that was that we had from yesterday, Texas and Oakland. We had this one for you last night. 
this one's back at it. This one is going to be, though, a side only. Yesterday was a side in the total. Doug Fister is going for Texas. I think he's horrible. I think he's, eh, washed up might be too strong of a term, but I'm close to, uh, to saying that. Um, he, in his first game, wasn't terrible. I saw him in spring training. He was absolutely brutal. In his first game, though, with the Rangers, not bad. One run over five innings. He did allow seven base runners, so he was constantly in trouble. But he got out of it. Uh, but I still think he's uh, he's a bundle of trouble uh, just overall, and so do other betters, is that they have taken the Rangers from plus 140 up to plus 155 against Oakland. Now, the A's are going to start um, – Sean Manaya, he's a good pitcher. I like him. Uh, like what he's done. He he does have some rough outings, and they just kind of come out of nowhere. Um, but you know the way Texas swinging the bats right now, uh, a lot of swings and misses with the Rangers. No surprise there. Um, I'm going to lean ever so slightly with Oakland. Um, the value, to be perfectly honest, I think is on Texas in this spot. But I don't trust Fister. Oakland has also won 14 out of 21. Uh, against Texas at home. So I'm going to lean with Oakland, despite the fact that uh, this surprises me. 90% of the bets are on Texas. Uh, that's a little bit of a surprise. Let's talk some NHL. And uh, you know what? I almost don't even want to. Okay? I can't believe that there are actually bettors uh, that find this game interesting and find it interesting enough to want to move the line. Okay? We got Ottawa at Buffalo. These are the absolutely two worst teams in the NHL. And yet Buffalo has gone from about minus 127 up to minus 140. Why would anyone bother to do this? I have no idea. I mean, myself, I would rather sit at a casino for hours on end and with chips at the at the roulette table and have play black or red, bored to death doing that. And I'd even do it with two uh, two green slots, zero greens uh, on on the roulette wheel. This is a terrible game. Okay, I would not bet it. I would not recommend betting it. Okay, I would pass on it altogether. However, I have committed to doing games and giving out free picks, writing articles about games that have line moves. This has a line move. Okay, I have very few choices today, so I'm going to give a pick. It certainly will not be my pick of the day. Nevertheless, it is a pick. Okay, and I'm going to go with Buffalo. <laughs> yes, indeed, I'm going to take the Sabres. Sabres can win the season series with a victory. They're playing at home, and they're 11-4 and four at home uh, after they have allowed four or more goals in two straight games. Let's go with Buffalo on that one. So, hey, that's all I got for today, Doug Upstone. Become a Vegas Pro Insider Daily member. Hard to overlook that 29-6 and six record. Okay, that's kind of not my style. I'm usually more of a grinder, just kind of, you know, over the course of a season, I do well, okay, on picks. Not, not really prone to these type of extended hot streaks, but I'm not complaining. Okay, it's good. It's good for business. It's good for everything. So, check it out. $39.99 a month. You can sign up right today. Doug Upstone, Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. As of right now, I am 